Hello and welcome back to our channel. I'm Danish, and you are watching Iraqi Dinar YouTube channel. Hopefully you all will be fine let's start today. The latest insights and opportunities in the world of finance and investments. Today, we're focusing on an exciting and crucial area of interest to currency revaluation, particularly the Iraqi Dinar, along with gold and silver investments, cryptocurrency and a variety of online money-making opportunities. If you're keen on staying up to date with the latest developments in these fields, especially concerning the revaluation of currencies like the Iraqi dinar, this is the channel you want to subscribe to. Before we proceed, we want to remind you that the content provided on this YouTube channel is strictly for informational purposes only. It's essential to understand that we are not licensed financial advisors, and the opinions expressed here are based on our own research and personal experiences. Therefore, we strongly encourage you to conduct your own research and consult with a licensed financial advisor before making any investment decisions. This is a critical step to ensure that the choices you make align with your financial goals and risk tolerance. We are not responsible for any losses that may occur as a result of your investment decisions based on the information provided on this channel. Now, before we dive deeper into today's news about the Iraqi dinar, we want to share some exciting news about a weekly giveaway we host on this channel. Every week, we give away 100 Dogecoin to one lucky subscriber. To enter, all you need to do is make sure you're subscribed to the channel like this video, and watch it all the way to the end. Why? Because we'll be sharing a random hashtag keyword at some point during the video. Once you've got that keyword, simply comment it below with no spaces in between, and you'll be entered into the giveaway. It's that simple. Good luck to everyone participating or this could be your chance to win some Dogecoin. Let's shift gears now and talk about today's main topic an in-depth look at the ongoing collaboration between Iraq and the World Bank, which is aimed at enhancing the country's financial and business sectors. This partnership could be a pivotal moment for Iraq's economic growth, especially as it relates to the potential revaluation or reinstatement of the Iraqi dinar. This is a significant step toward a more stable and prosperous economy. And in today's video, we'll be breaking down what this means for Iraq and why it's such a crucial development. But before we delve into the analysis, let's take a closer look at the article that has been circulating, which discusses the meeting between Iraq's finance minister, Fsami, and key representatives from the World Bank. The title of the article is, Finance and World Bank Discuss Supporting Iraq's Economic Reform Program as reported by All Sumeria TV. On Thursday, August 29, 2024, Iraq's finance minister Tfsami held a crucial discussion with Jean-Christophe Carré Tilde Copyright, the regional director for the Middle East at the World Bank, along with Richard Abdelm, the bank's special representative in Iraq. The focus of this meeting was to garner support for Iraq's economic and financial reform program. According to a statement from the Ministry of Finance, the meeting covered a wide range of topics, including the follow-up on loans and grants provided by the World Bank, the prioritization of development projects, and strategies to enhance the financial and business sectors in Iraq. The statement highlighted the emphasis on continued bilateral coordination to promote sustainable development, as well as the World Bank's support for the government's program concerning economic reforms in Iraq. Minister Tfsami underscored the Iraqi government's keen interest in strengthening its partnership with international financial institutions. This collaboration is seen as vital to accelerating the pace of financial and banking reforms which align with the government's broader vision of establishing a strong national economy, achieving economic balance, and rectifying the financial policies that have steered Iraq's economic course over the years. 
This brings us to the question of why is this partnership with the World Bank so significant for Iraq? First and foremost, it demonstrates Iraq's commitment to implementing meaningful economic reforms, which are essential for achieving long-term stability and growth. By focusing on enhancing the financial and business sectors, Iraq is taking crucial steps toward creating a more diversified economy or one that is not overly reliant on oil revenues. This diversification is critical not only for sustainable economic growth but also for reducing Iraq's vulnerability to fluctuations in global oil prices. For those of us keeping a close eye on the Iraqi dinar, this partnership with the World Bank is particularly noteworthy. A strong and stable financial system is a key factor in boosting the value of the Iraqi dinar. When investors have confidence in a country's economy, they are more likely to invest in that country's currency, thereby increasing its value. By working closely with the World Bank to strengthen these sectors, Iraq is laying the groundwork for a potential revaluation or reinstatement of the dinar at a higher exchange rate. This is a significant development that could have far-reaching implications for both domestic and international investors. The improvement of Iraq's investment environment is another critical aspect of this collaboration. Attracting both foreign and domestic investments is crucial for driving economic growth, creating jobs, and increasing non-oil revenues. These investments are necessary for developing Iraq's infrastructure, supporting small and medium-sized enterprises (SMEs) and fostering innovation across various sectors of the economy. A thriving investment environment will not only help diversify Iraq's revenue streams but also make the economy more resilient and less dependent on oil. The involvement of the World Bank is a game changer in this process, as it provides Iraq with access to global expertise and best practices in economic management. This technical assistance is essential for ensuring that the reforms are implemented effectively and yield the desired outcomes. The World Bank's support will help Iraq build a more robust financial system, improve governance, and enhance transparency of factors that are critical for achieving economic stability and growth. In essence, the partnership between Iraq and the World Bank is about much more than just improving the financial and business sectors it's about building a stronger, more resilient economy that can support a more valuable dinar. This collaboration signals that Iraq is serious about its economic reforms and is taking the necessary steps to support the revaluation or reinstatement of the dinar. The ongoing discussions between Iraq and the World Bank represent a significant development in Iraq's journey toward economic stability and growth. By focusing on enhancing the financial and business sectors and improving the investment environment, Iraq is laying the foundation for a more stable and prosperous economy. These efforts are crucial for enhancing the value of the Iraqi dinar and creating a more secure economic future. Stay tuned for more updates and in-depth analysis on Iraq's economic reforms, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. We'd love to hear your thoughts on today's article What do you think about the collaboration between Iraq and the World Bank? Also, be sure to catch the latest updates from all the gurus and intel providers, as well as our breaking news article videos, to get a comprehensive view of where we are with the revaluation or reinstatement of the dinar. Before we wrap up this video, the hashtag for the 100 Dogecoin giveaway is balance. Remember to comment this hashtag below for your chance to be the lucky winner. The winner will be announced this Sunday, so keep an eye out for one of Sunday's videos to see if you've won.